you know, I think more than anything, uh, being coming a part of this community has been a lot of fun. Uh, really good people. Uh, I enjoy the outdoor nature of it, although uh, in January and February, I won't say that I was outside that much. Uh, you know, I actually vacationed during that time, which, I, you know, everybody told me I've got it down. That's pretty good. You go away in January and February. So I've uh, been to a lot of T-Wolves games. I was at the state tournament, that sort of thing. So I've enjoyed the heck out of it. And, and then I think, you know, I, I spoke at the, um, the Minnesota High School banquet. Uh, on a Tuesday night and uh, I actually promised them we would draft Kashin Alexander and it, and it lucked out for us that not only did we get, get Kashin, we also got Angel Robinson, so that's been fun. And what did you instill on that speech uh, for the high school hopefuls who may play in the NBA or use basketball to improve their lives in general? Yeah, you know, I, it, it's, it's a process, you know, for them. It starts at a very young age. I told them I remember being their age and I remember being very, very passionate about the sport and, uh, you know, nothing comes easy. You know, it's one of those things you got to put the time in and uh, you got to have good grades. You got to be able to go to college and, uh, you know, put the time in. You got to practice if you want to be good at something. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's the first five days. You know, we've, uh, we've seen some really good. We've seen some things we need to work on and um, just very, very typical of the first five days. Uh, the great. Um, they're both great additions. You know, um, certainly Maya, you know, there's no explanation needed there. Uh, she just plays so hard. You know, Maya is, you know, when you actually have her now and you can understand, you know, if you get a chance to watch practice, you can understand why she's been so successful. She just works so hard and so aggressive, so determined. Um, Amber, you know, I, I think for her, I think she's fit in nicely. It's a group of six post players that I think have really challenged each other. Um, you know, we're bigger now, which is nice. That was one of our goals in the offseason. Um, how it all shakes out, we'll see. You know, we, we've got to get that rotation down, and um, hopefully our big girls can really come along. How is Amber doing? She was mentioning that she's been playing a good amount of four. She has, how yeah. Is she doing, <laughs> adjusting to that? Well, uh, you know, she's been a four, you know, in, in uh, college with Tashia Phillips playing the five. Um, she's probably t is probably a little more physical than maybe what she's been used to. That's been an adjustment. Uh, if she doesn't go up strong, you know, she ends up fading away, and it's it's a it's a low percentage shot. So I think she's learning with that. Uh, she's definitely made her uh, preference known, you know, that she likes, and, and she's just got great skill. She's got nice face up game. She put the ball on the floor, uh, but she's adjusting. You know, it, it's been uh, I think uh, a, a, a challenging five days for her. Uh, you know, I think just being better at everything, you know, I, I think uh, we're definitely slowing it down, you know, in terms of uh, what we're putting in and, and how fast we're putting things in, making sure that before we leave something that we're really good at it. Um, so not to, to overwhelm them uh, and have a lot of things in and be good at nothing. You know, that's not the goal there. So um, that's probably the biggest adjustments. I think uh, making sure that we're highlighting players, offensive talents, you know, we've really focused on that, you know, with, with our play calls. So uh, it's gone pretty well. Coach, looking ahead to your preseason game with Indiana, what, what will be your focus? You know, what do you hope to get out of that experience? Well, you know, looking at at that point, we'll have seven days of practice in, and uh, you know, just a measuring stick. Okay, what we have in, what they have, have grasped of what we have in, uh, can we move on? You know, um, clean up some stuff. You know, and, and uh, we we scrimmaged last night. We'll watch some video of that, break it down, try to make some progress today and tomorrow, and. Uh, more than anything, it's a measuring stick, see where we are, and then evaluate a little bit of the talent. Yeah, will it be a, a real barometer for, for some of the players who will, who will be fighting to make, uh, make the roster? Well, there, yeah, two parts. I, I think uh, our primary focus is on our rotation. Mm -hmm. Who is going to be in the rotation? Um, you know, we got some people fighting for minutes. Uh, that's probably more the evaluation that goes on. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, 12, 13, and 14, certainly want to look at them, see what they can do. Sure. Um, you know, but again, it's a tough road to hoe for those guys. Uh, yeah, that, um, it's interesting. <laughs> Only guys like you know that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> uh, that's, that's very interesting. I didn't know that. Um, I would love for them to have the same results, you know, that, that Michael and Scotty had. <laughs> so do you think we'll see Michael showing up for a game now that uh, Maya is signed? Well, I think he should. I think that would be a great idea to come out and support. Uh, I thought one of his best signings you know, for the Jordan brand. I thought it was tremendously enlightened decision on their part. So. Yeah, I'm sure Michael will come out and see us and uh, watch Maya represent their company. Speaking of Jordan and Pippen, how have Maya and Simone and the rest of the links meshed together this year? Really, really well. Uh, it's a really good group in that, uh, first and foremost, they're great people. 
And I think because of that, uh, they've got that selflessness that you need when you have this much talent on the team. So uh, they help each other every possession. Uh, they challenge each other. You know, that's one of our things this year is accountability. You got to hold each other accountable. You know, it's one thing for coaches to do it. It's a whole other element. You know, when the players are able to do it amongst themselves. Uh, I wouldn't say full of leaders. Uh, you can have too many leaders. You know, that's you, you got to have some followers. Um, you know, I think uh, we definitely have a group of four that we're counting on heavily with that. That's not to say that the ones outside the four can't be leaders themselves, but those are the ones we've designated uh, to kind of lead this team and be accountable. Who are the four? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Simone, uh, Lindsey Whalen, uh, uh, Brunson, and Taj. You know, the ones you probably you probably you probably could have picked them on your own, but. <laughs> Angel Robinson, how is she doing? And you know, she's going to get get a chance to play at home at um, yeah. on, on Tuesday. So I'm sure she's excited. How how is she doing for you? Well, you know, she's doing well in that uh, you know, a rookie coming to camp again. Uh, both Angel and Kashin are in a situation where uh, they're now playing with players that maybe they've idolized through the years. You know, they maybe grew up watching. Uh, so I think once they got past that, uh, that maybe the nervousness uh, and maybe the the element of uh, the the all. Um, you know, I think they've gotten past that. Angel is extremely competitive. Um, I like how physical she is, and I also like uh, her willingness to learn. You know, I, I've done a, a fair amount of instruction with her, and I don't have to repeat myself. And that's one of the most, uh, I think, most important things for rookies. Don't keep making the same mistake. Oh, we don't want to say the same things over and over. And Angel certainly has done very well with that. Simone's a lot lighter right now, and she says she's playing the. She says she's playing the two more. Do you yes. see her? Do you see her playing on the outside a lot more? You know, this year, and yeah. is, she a, is she a better player at this lighter weight? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think she's, and I'm not sure on the, the, the stats of her weight, but where she was at the start of 09, I think is very, and Jim Peterson's my reference with that. Um, he talked about she looks very similar to that. Um, I think she probably feels much better. Uh, you know, she went through a lot in, in that time. And, and uh, you know, so I think for her to get to this point, I think it's been very rewarding for her. Um, she'll play the same role. Uh, in our offense that she did before and you know you guys get caught up in the who's playing the two who's playing the three you know I mean it is what it is you know my it, it, whether it's Maya Moan you know it, it's the same play sets you know it's just a matter who you're featuring at that moment so um, but Moan will be will run a similar place for her um, you know so not much of an adjustment other than on defense. How many minutes can we expect to see? Uh, well um, I think in an ideal world uh, no more than 28 uh, closer to 25. Uh, if we can get a third or a fourth big uh, really giving us quality minutes, then we'll be able to accomplish that with both her and Brunson. Uh, because these are players, you know, the wear and tear is tough. And uh, they'll tell you, you know, they don't they want to play 20, you know, but they don't want to play 35 either. So we've got to find that balance. And uh, I think Maya will play some four. You know, I think we'll see that. So I think we'll, we'll have that opportunity to, to get their minutes down, really for all of them. If you look at our group, you know, that's my biggest challenge this year is minutes. Try to distribute the minutes and... Uh, I think more than anything, go with the flow uh, of that game, of who's playing well. Is Taj acted in kind of an additional assistant coach capacity? Yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a good way to describe it. Um, what I like about Taj, and you know, it's, it fits with what you're saying, is there are things that I had to say last year that I don't have to say now because Taj is saying it. And I can focus on something else. And, and, and I tell you, there's just tremendous, tremendous value. If she never scores a basket, there is tremendous value in that. So um, she's really embraced that role. Uh, she's been on the outside of the links for a long time. And she definitely has her opinions um, about some of the youth on the team. And, and uh, she, you know, Taj is just somebody that understands how to be a great pro and has great, great attention to detail. And that helps this group a lot. What does Taj's acquisition say about the longevity of these players? Because she's yeah. going in a 40 and Cheryl Swoop signed with Tulsa. 240 and Completely different players, I would say, though, um, in that Taj, and I, you know, she could tell you better at what age that maybe she figured out if she wants to play a long, long time. You've got, you hit that point where you've got to take care of your body. It's not about honing your skills anymore. It's about, you know, the, the longevity comes from your endurance of your body. And uh, she has done just a tremendous job. If you look at her, it's crazy. It's crazy to see her athletically to be just as good as some of the other players on the floor that are the half her age. You know, it's crazy. Um, you know, swoops I'm not as familiar with. Um, you know, but again, Taj, I just think is year over year over year it has been there, and it's just just steady. And uh, what a great legacy she'll leave. Maya is obviously young. How many minutes do you think she'll play? Again, uh, that that one's going to be a little bit harder. Um, I really see all of them. You know, the 25 to 28 range. Um, and again, to be able to get everybody in that we want to get in. Um, you know, I think as coaches in the off season, our goal is to get minutes down. 
But then when the games start and it gets competitive, you're going to see 30 and 32 and you know things that we didn't want to do. And I'll yell at Jim and Shelly because it's their fault. You know they're the ones that they got to get it down. So. <laughs>